Hey everybody, welcome back to Marriage Battle Plan where Jamie and I help you communicate clearly in your marriage so your relationship will last. All right, and Jamie's not here with me today. She's out of town, but I have a really good tip for you. And today it's two words that can save your marriage. Now, before I tell you what this is, this is something I found that just to my own credit, it's like the one thing I do right. And it's probably the reason I'm still married. It's probably the reason I've been able to maintain certain business relationships because I used these two words, all right? Now, bad leaders in the military don't use these two words. They don't do these things, all right? Bad leaders in any organization, whether it's a family, a business, the military, bad leaders don't abide by these two words, all right? And here are the two words, own it, own it. What's that mean? Well, if you made a mistake, if you caused trouble, if you created a problem, intentionally or unintentionally, step back outside of it and all the chaos that it caused, and just, if you, if, if you were the source of that, intentionally or unintentionally, just own it. Say, look, I did that, that's my fault. I'm sorry, how can we fix this? Now, a lot of people just won't do that because they, they have egos and they have pride in the way. Well, here's the thing, here's the problem with somebody, whether it's a husband or a wife, who won't own what they've done. The problem is nobody will trust that person because it tells everybody else around that that person is more concerned with protecting themselves and not looking out for the, the betterment and the overall safety of the group, all right? And so here's the thing about when you own it. Also, a lot of people are afraid that if they own what they, what they messed up on, that people are just gonna keep taking shots at them. And you know what, for a little while, maybe they will, but also maybe they won't, because here's what happens when somebody admits to something and they own the mistake they made. Most people tend to be very graceful and forgiving if you genuinely just own the mistake you made. And then you commit to not doing it again. Or you, you say, okay, here's, I own that, you know, I, I messed up, that was my fault. I don't want that to happen again, so here's what I'm going to do differently. Even if somebody wants to take shots at you after that, they can only do it for so long because by owning it, you just took the ammunition out of the enemy's hands. Whether it's a metaphorical enemy or in that situation you think it's your spouse, all right, you, you can't keep taking shots at somebody who already admitted that they were wrong. So maybe it was anger, maybe you had a blowout. Uh, maybe it's some sort of misunderstanding or mistake you made. Maybe it was a money problem that you caused, and gosh, that causes so much tension. Um, maybe you reacted a certain way uh, where you could have handled it better. And again, the big thing here is own it. It was my fault. I caused that. Now, here's the thing. Only own it if it's yours to own. And you've heard me say this before. You know, I don't own things that aren't mine to own. Some people say things like, well, just say you're sorry in order to keep the peace. No, <laughs> don't do that. There's tactful ways of going about this. But if, if you're the kind of person who just apologizes even when you weren't at fault or for something that wasn't yours to own, all that's going to do is breed resentment and division between you and that other person. That's very dangerous, that's very common because people don't like confrontation. But if you try to own things that aren't yours to own, in order to just keep the peace, you're not keeping any peace. That just breeds resentment, so be very uh, conscious and aware of that. So think about this, after you own it, think about this and even talk to your spouse after the fire and the flames of the argument and the heat of the argument has died down and think to yourself, what can I do differently next time so we can get an ideal sort of outcome that we both want, a better outcome? All right, so think about what you can do with that. And if you have open communication with your spouse, talk to them. That way they understand that you're at least trying. Everybody makes mistakes. And when you own it, people are graceful for that, for the most part. All right, I know in my life, I mean, blowing up on my kids, getting mad, making dumb financial decisions because I didn't know any better and I thought I was doing something good. Just own it and move forward. How can we do this better next time? So if this has helped you at all, Number one, share this with somebody you know who is struggling in their marriage. Most people are struggling in their marriage to some extent and it's usually due to an underlying enemy of a lack of communication. Think, do I have a son or a daughter who's married right now? A cousin, a best friend, an uncle? 
whoever it is, if this has helped you, share this with them also. Just share the link to this video and share it to them. And also, go make sure you go to marriagebattleplan.com because we're updating constantly with more and more free resources to help you communicate better with your spouse so you can enjoy the marriage you've always wanted and your marriage will actually make it. All right, so share this video, make the world a better place, and next time you screw up, two words, own it.